New Mansa, I got that name from this guy named Mansa Musa. So he he from the Mali Empire. He was an emperor and he was like the richest man of all time. Uh, with, with, with his wealth, uh, he went across all of Africa, man, and he was just giving out gold. But uh, that's who I got it from, from Mansa Musa back in the day. Yeah, new Mansa, I'm, I'm trying to get money. I'm trying to get new money. That's what, let's call it like okay. that, right? I do I've been doing this for the longest time like so I mean I've been fighting since grade school so it's like <laughs> so why why make anything else like like more than what it is and I understand like there's millions of people watching at one time and but at the end of the day I feel like this is what I was born to do like this is my you know my destiny in order to show people you know that I'm, I'm one of the greatest what's away fighters that's probably gonna be of this era because I don't care where you place a fight a fight is a fight no, whether, no matter if you want the biggest promotion on the world or whether you in the backyard with it like Kimbo Slice back in the day. So I feel like as long as you, you treat the, the scenario the same, you're going to be all right. But a lot of guys make the moment too much and, you know, they end up whatever. Here he comes, Kevin. This one is going to be big. Joaquin Buckley has been on an absolute tear lately. He is riding a 4-0 win streak. These are two highly skilled athletes. Oh, big shot big again to Buckley. Big right hand lands from Kurtz. Again, sets him down. And a left oh, hand from Buckley. Hurt shot. Him, but he's still very dangerous. Oh, nice big knee. knee. Huge knee. Huge hammer fist. Oh. Huge hammer fist. The referee's about there to stop the fight. John Duber calls a stop to the fight. Kurtz was tougher as all good. This is Jeremy with That MMA Show, and I am here with the new Champion Joaquin Buckley, how's that feel? It feels good, man. It feels good. Uh, I'm, it came pretty fast. I'm not gonna say, you know, only three fights and all, but uh, I'm glad they gave me the opportunity to get it. You know what I'm saying? And here I am right now with you. Uh. <laughs> very nice, very nice. All right, Joaquin. So you now you have that belt around your waist. What is next for Joaquin Buckley? Uh, what is next? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, to be continued, I guess. You know. They say one day you will lose, one day you will run into someone better than you. This might be true for everyone else, but for me, it's an absurd comment and it's disrespectful. Losing is a choice. When a fighter decides to get in the cage with me, they choose to lose every time. Life has prepared me for every fight. There's no fighter on this planet that could put me through any more pain and suffering that life hasn't already inflicted on me. So it's all about preparation, how much pain are you willing to endure before you quit? I'm willing to die before I quit. No one's willing to die, so they choose to lose. He's opening up at about a Chris, ready? minus 170. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the LFA middleweight division. This is Joaquin Whoa. Buckley. Buckley moving well. Cutting beautiful angles. He's got the blue tape on his gloves and black trunks. That's a scary lefty, my friend. Man, Look at Buckley that. catches the kick. And those shots have cut Chris Harris. Oh, open. buddy. Oh, high kick. Chris Harris not phased. How is Harris still standing, Pat? I have no idea. Joaquin oh. Buckley teeing off. But Chris Harris, like we've seen before, oh. he's managed to move forward. Stop, 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 stop. Joaquin Buckley, that is all. Wow, wow, wow. You talk about power, angle, speed. Dino! Jackie Gosh, plus 200 LFA bitch tonight. You do not want to get hit by that man. Step the angle. Oh, catches him with a flying knee. Oh, he landed. Wow. 
And now Buckley teeing off. Let's see close up here. Hopefully they'll get it. Gosh, being smart again, covering up in there, trying to count. Fire in the body. Buckley throwing shots in volume. At this point. Yeah. Are you a little shocked? Oh, there's the power oh, shot, wow. but backed him up. Blew him right off his feet. Are you well, I mean, he did in the first round a little bit, but right here I mean, in the second. he is oh, getting molested. Oh, rocked him! That is all! Joaquin Buckley makes a statement here tonight! Some sick power, man. What a shot! I'm declaring your winner by knockout, Joaquin Numenza Buckley! You know, when I got that shot, I got that opportunity. I came off a, off a win in the LFA. But like I said, I didn't have no team. I didn't have nothing behind me. So uh, I was too excited when I first got out there. Like, that's the dream, right? To make it to the UFC. And I'm coming off of Walgreens and shit, right? So I'm just like, damn, I done made it. But instead of just thinking about it as another fight, regardless if it's in the UFC or not, sometimes the pressure can, can get to you, right? What you might not know is that Joaquin Buckley fought last weekend in LFA, got a second round knockout win. All right, guys, first so he's round. ready for fight number two in the span of eight days. And he'll be a big underdog there in the whites. Action right away. Kevin Holland wow. takes him down. Well, look at Buckley explode. See, man, that gets in people's heads the way that Holland two different body styles are going at it. Big right from Buckley sits down Holland for a moment. Oh man, heavy shots. Yeah, you'll see him. He was in close. He was well, very well rounded. That's what he wants. Nice body work. He's got a lot of knees. He's throwing a lot of combinations right now, Brandon. He's got to slow this pace down with some big shots. So far. Damn! Oh, nice elbow. Elbow from Holland and another one. But he's got to watch the power of Buckley. My God. Oh, Buckley moves in. Look like oh, a You can tell Kevin Holland's all over that. Not a right to the body as he did below the kick. Oh, one punch down post. Down post Buckley. He's on a single though. He's recovering here. He's got to watch his neck. Man, a sneaky right cross from Holland. Wow, sat him down the month. He's got to deal with Kevin Holland. Gets Man. down for a moment. Fires a kick. Physically strong. Just throw him and then let it go. But Kevin Holland does such a good job of riding those waves, right? He doesn't get overwhelmed in those positions. He flows with it. Ooh. He doesn't want to touch gloves. I mean, they did high five at the end of the second yeah, round. Yeah, no, they did. It's all love. I really think it's just this is how Kevin Holland fights. This is what keeps him motivated. He was saying in the one round that, you know, I know how this feels. I've been here, my first UFC fight. It'll be okay. <laughs> He's mentoring him in there, Brendan. <laughs> but with a man like Buckley, yeah. the way he punches. Oh, it's it's a and Smith is going to call it. Run it down on the knockout for the Trailblazer. And that is what he has been doing all night. He's been waiting, finding his moment, and capitalizing on the counter, especially against somebody as aggressive as Buckley. He finds his moments when he's throwing those big punches, and it's the counter attack again and ultimately ends this fight from Kevin Holland. Wow. Just want to fight, man. Just want to get in the, you know, prove to the world, you know what I mean, that we back. You know what I mean? That's it. it, it need, it need, it's annoying, first off, but, you know what I mean, it's just a reminder and a reality that, you know what I mean, people don't really care about you. You know what I mean? So my thing is, bro, just go out there and do what I do, man, and get paid, bro. That's it. I'm just trying to get as much money as I can. That's my goal. Yeah. Uh, it's more mental. Everything was more mental, man. Definitely uh, sat down with myself, man, uh, and just figured out, like, why is the reason we in the UFC? Now we know the reason why, you know what I mean? And now it's just figuring out, you know, what we are able to do and what message I want to get to the folks after every time I finish somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, like, where are we trying to get to? What's the goal after that? Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, it's, it's all about smoking people, man. Uh, I never want to choose to lose. It just happens, you know what I mean? And with that, it's just like, you know, you don't, 
you don't get upset about it. You know what I'm saying? You don't cry about it. Like you just come back, man, and, and like you said, you just bounce back. You know what I mean? You lost is coming life, man. It's just it's just a part of uh, the process. But at the end of the day, you know, it's how you react to it. You know what I mean? Thank you very much, Camila. Round number one ahead. That's Joaquin Buckley against Impa Kasanganai. Kasanganai in the blue, Buckley in the black. Do not blink. Buckley comes with some serious heat. Very close. Pipped him with a short left hook right there. Kasanganai did. Yep. Kasanganai's got to be known. He knows that, right? He's seen any table. Snapping right hand. Yeah, but he admired his work a little bit there. And Buckley oh, took one back. That, again. That, that needs some turnover. He direct up the centre line. And let it, oh, that was a good, good right hand. Straight left, sorry. Quite left and right. Terrible with it. <laughs> what a chin. chin. Lad, but don't you, know, you don't know your left from your right. Don't you? <laughs> no. What a chin that Kasanganai is displaying already. And maybe the fact that he hasn't had so many years. Last night took a hell, but it's not a when he's not doing anything. Indeed, of course, Brian Barbarina is with him tonight. Lots of experience. So even on top of the at the moment. How do you stand out? How do you, my phone is blowing up. Kevin and I only hit me up uh, for a quote because he's uh, already doing a story on uh, Oh, okay. Yeah, and everybody's saying, just give him $200,000 tonight. Oh, give him every phone. Oh, Nobody has ever right. seen anything like that. Oh. Ron Shelby texted me and said, write him a check right now for 50 grand and go give it to him before he gets out. Oh, oh, oh man. Don't, don't tell me that name, man. But I hear him every time, man. Thank you, God. God bless you. Thank you so much. I took but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I come stacks. Knew that ass was real when I hit it, bounce back. You ain't getting six. Last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I come stacks. Knew that ass was real when I hit it, bounce back. You already know how to bounce I woke up in here with my twin, Joaquin Buckley. This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press. Joaquin, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. When you know everyone's gonna talk to you about that knockout, do you still get sick of it? Do you ever just gotta be, yeah, yeah, the spin, all that good stuff? Nah, not at all, man. I don't get sick of it, man. I love it when people approach me talking about the knockout, you know, because there's people celebrating me and just honoring me. So it's a big deal, man. You know, that kick is definitely going to last for a long time. So I'm, I'm just going to have to get used to it. <laughs> I know all of you guys have moved on from it, but I want to ask you the curse. Like you and then the next guy and then the next guy. And it's like... I don't, I don't see it as no curse. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Me finishing Impa that way, me getting finished by uh, Alessio, and then Alessio getting finished by Al Hassan. So let's see if we can end that curse with me finishing Al Hassan, you know what I'm saying? With a head kick, you know? <laughs> I like the way you're thinking. Joaquin Buckley versus Impa Kassan. Yes. <laughs>
Oh, he grabbed it. Yeah, I'm just uh, going ahead and put this one here. All right, all right. Well, I see everybody came prepared. They didn't brought notes. You know what I'm saying? They didn't speak off a piece of paper. But you know, I'm gonna just go off the top of the dome with this man. But uh, <laughs> it is truly an honor to be receiving this award of Knockout of the Year. You know, I never thought that I'd be here. You know what I mean? And uh, and be here surrounded by so many incredible people. You know, so two years ago, I could have imagined it. Uh, but now that I'm here and I'm able to receive this award, it's just showing me that everything is possible uh, by putting God first, you know what I mean, and keeping my faith in Him. So I just want to thank God, you know what I mean, for this opportunity, for being here and being blessed to be here around all of you guys. I also want to thank God for the people that He has put in my life, you know, uh, the magnificent people that He has brought into my life. They are my solid foundation. You know, no matter how big I may become, no matter how great the fame and fortune will be, you know, uh, they will not break and they will not uh, crumble because they will keep me grounded to remain successful. You know, and uh, I think that's the biggest thing because you need people around you that's gonna help you continue to be successful and keep working towards your goals and your dreams. And uh, I'm looking to become a world champion one day and I got the right team around me. So, you know, I just wanna thank everybody that's here and helping support me and helping support all the fighters and everybody that's a part of the MMA community. And, uh, you know, let's keep doing this, you know what I mean? All right, y'all. Y'all already know, man, we won Knockout of the Year. This is so awesome, and I, I appreciate all my fans that voted for me so I can win this award. I thank the UFC. I thank Fighters Only, you know what I mean, for having me and making me feel uh, welcome, making me feel special, making me feel like I was somebody. But, hey, we're going to wrap this up, though, because now that we got this award, it's back to work, baby. So we about to head back to Michigan, man, put this camp work in, and you know what time it is. New tonight, a University City native has become a big hit in the mixed martial arts world as a professional UFC fighter. Fox 2's Michaela McGee shows us how one power-packed kick turned him from up and coming to next up. 27-year-old Joaquin Buckley has always had plans of his own. I was always fascinated with mixed martial arts, so I was always fascinated with different disciplines like boxing, um, like taekwondo, like kickboxing, all those things. And uh, I was just like, dang, how can I just do all of them? And, you know, that's the sport called mixed martial arts. Two years after graduating from Marquette High School, the U-City native began competing in the UFC middleweight division, earning a 13 win and four loss record since 2014 in one of the most aggressive, intense, and bloody sports in the world. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the mentality of people that come from St. Louis if they're not from here. So for him, being from St. Louis, the main thing he wanted to do is put St. Louis on his back and show that not only we have boxers and basketball players, now we got UFC fighters as well. And in 2020, the world found out exactly who Joaquin Buckley was. One kick for that one chance to change my whole entire life. I seen that touch kick. Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me! Wakanda style, this is actually the kick that we performed on there, so. <laughs> the KO kick instantly went viral. The UFC posted the video on their Twitter, and it became the most liked, most retweeted, and most viewed tweet in UFC history. The Buckley knockout generated more than 65 million views and 83 million impressions for the UFC in just one month. Buckley was awarded the 2020 Knockout of the Year. I promise you, they will fall in love with Buckley. He has a switch, and you can tell when that switch is turned on. Though his success continues to grow, Buckley won't be satisfied until he accomplishes his one goal, a UFC championship title. So if I'm able to bring that championship back to St. Louis, it's going to bring so much more exposure to our city that we need and uh, for businesses and everything of that nature. And I feel like the people should get behind me for that. You know, so that's my goal. Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News. Ready? Fight on. This fight clock is brought to you by the new Ken Burns film, Muhammad Ali on PBS. Buckley's in the black. He's minus one. Oh, and a kick. Without the counter striker with this one. Buckley goes first again. He slips and finds himself on the ground. Mahoyo where he wants him to go right now. Now they separate.
seconds is the plus 140 underdog. Now Justin Houghton, Vinny Lopez Jr. Ooh, Buckley's out there. Nice time. Clips with that left hand, he seems to be okay. Oh, got a tricky jab behind that. In these matches, nice little throw from the fence. Got to watch the counter. Two minutes have gone by here in round two. Nice. Exactly. Nice faint chances here round two. Oh, these are big shots from Buckley. A lot of them getting blocked. And he's showing up well, but I like that Buckley's attempt. Buckley has thrown more than twice as many significant strikes. Joaquin, it's not about respect. This fight clock is brought to you by a new. in the corner of the river. And that's it. it. That man, Numansa, with another knockout. Hey, there, 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 there. Come on, bro, let me get it. Let me get one, bro. You gotta let me get a fight, bro. You, it's been a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? He at, he at 170 right now. You know what I'm saying? No, for real, don't say it, though. You on camera. Don't think you know record, you better be recorded. You wanna fight in July? July, let's yeah, fight in July. Come on, yeah. Come on let's go. Oh, yeah. London? Yeah, we're well, good. Don't say that. You gonna be ready? I'm being ready. Okay, okay. Let's get money. Let's get money, bro. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Who is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's fight now. <laughs> See, what's up? Come on, come on. You gotta make your money. Go make your money. I don't want to fight your ass. Fight your beating. Fight your beating. Did you guys see the clip going around? It was over the weekend, Joaquin Buckley walks up to, now you got to understand this. Okay, If you haven't seen the clip, and I've got to give you an establishing shot, they're backstage at a UFC, very relevant, because I didn't like this. I really didn't like this. And Buckley walks right up. It's, it's the two bros, Sharon Till, Hazma Chemayev. They're standing there, and Buckley walks right into their space. More than anything, it's uncomfortable. I do not like street stuff. I am an extreme prude when it comes to anything that is outside of organized sport. I don't like it. So, um... Oh, come on, man. We're good. Huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be angry, though, you know what I'm saying? What's up, man? My thing is, you know, uh, coming down to uh, France, man, I got a lot of love from the people, you know what I mean? And just like uh, how many people approached me, like landing down here, man, I was just hoping that like, we could be on the main card and just going crazy for like the fans out here, but now we on the prelims for some odd reason, you know? I'm thinking, I'm fighting like the ranked opponent who's from here, and we on the prelims. I'm like, man, that's, that's great to me, you know what I mean? This fight clock is brought to you by proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. That's what he's trying to pin him down, corral him again. Great defense. And he's got a bit there to make that big play. Oh, big shot, nice left to advance. Most significant blow so far, there's a good knee as well. Oh, nice elbow. Doesn't look like it so far though, I've got to say. So far, as a team, he's looking fantastic. Now Buckley has got to try to land something. Slapped him as well, which got up, was upset. We saw that earlier on as well in the round, so him above. 
And a, a, oh, oh, a serious Very mobile attacks. He's trying all the angles in his corner. Implored the change. He's trying to faint, but he just can't reach the target. There it is. Yeah, that's a good shot. He's out of range. And Imovov has defensive instincts. He moves back, glides away. So Bush needs to continue the onslaught. It has to be four, five, six, seven punches even just to land that one. Landing the better shots. There's a clean takedown. Bush was not there. Probably, yeah, he's, he hasn't given up. He has now, though. He needs to post that. He's standing handcuff. It's just how someone's cracking you in the face, landing elbows, trying to pull your head off your shoulders. And you're like, come on, give me a break. Imabov oh, with mean intentions in this contest. His family here in Paris as he launches himself out of the air. Still good defense here from Imabov, but Buckley is swinging wild. Imabov has yeah. got to be very careful. Buckley's coming on really strong here. And again, the block is swinging. He's putting everything into this. Everything. Very, very difficult. It's moments like this. This is the best round so far for Buckley. They're slowing down. Slow down quite a bit. They're slowing down. Yeah, the big combinations from Buckley. Wow. The confidence. Well, the tide's turning. The tide is turning here. That's a key sprawl. Can he stay on the feet? It looks like it. And not only has he got to stay on the feet, Michael, he has got to try to urgently get out of this clinch position against the Vets. This is exactly where Mama wants to keep this going. Just looked at the clock. He's definitely slowed down. The body line oh. is much different. And look at McKee Buckley. I mean, oh, this man. would be such a oh, comeback. comeback. If he could get this done. Oh. Yeah, Mama shoots. Oh, oh, we see it. it. That was legal. That was. Yeah, he was right. Right. The final effort, 25 seconds. That strike there by the sniper, Imabov. Rangy stuff. Oh, here we go. He's losing his structure a little bit. Yeah, last few seconds. He's swinging. Trying He's got oh, what a fight! That was awesome. What a fight! That was awesome. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Nasudin Imam. Put him on his heels. What are you watching? Yeah, Curtis can't just stand there while Buckley's doing that. He can't allow him to get off like this. Big right hand for Curtis now. Huge. Joaquin Buckley. Wow. He knew that all he needed was a few to. Wow. Wow. He knew he could hurt him. That is going to sting deep into next week for Buckley, the king of combat, Chris Curtis. My biggest thing is, you know, I've been allowing uh, guys in the middleweight division to have an advantage over me because of their size, because of their length. So now we're going to make the move to 170. Uh, what's weight will be my new home. It will be my new division. And that is the weight class that I'm going to go <coughs> towards or working towards the road to gold and getting that belt. See y'all soon. Nice. Yeah. And then when I'm here, props high. It's turned. Yeah. That's real money. Yeah. That's real money. Oh, hey, hey, yeah. What? Are you smoking oh, shit? Uh huh. Just don't get some danger at all. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stay there. <laughs> you guys are shot. Boom, boom. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Look like work with Chris Curtis. He putting in that work for me. He gonna help me get that 50K. That's on my mom. This White Clock is brought to you by Jose Cuervo Tequila. Well, to your point, Brendan, as soon as I saw the fight card, this is the one that jumped off the page. If y'all you making reads right now, just kind of sit back. You gotta be careful of that. Buckley will let Now on Corks the hand. Oh! High amplitude on the takedown for Buckley. The ugly for a moment. Yeah, that was a fast shot as well. Finding their moments. Buckley wants to get it back. As we said, oh! Part of there, though. One more time for good measure. I mean, as always with Joaquin Buckley, a style point. Tonight's fight. Woo! Oh, my God. Yellow. Oh, he just charged him. Wow. Buckley getting after oh. early. We got clip. That's, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's a there. great way to live. Oh, oh we got red left high kick. Come on, let's get it me. Getting tired. He doesn't seem to be. He, he's one of those guys that you're training with. You expect to be getting him. And he's like, like yeah. Half of him. And you get yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's one of those things about holding. Oh, nice. The movement there from Buckley. Well, that's a body shot. Yep. Oh, nice step to finish off. Swinging, man. He's swinging. He wants it. He is at home. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely where he belongs. Oh. Middleweight. So actually, like if Buckley could get this done tonight against Verona, that's huge. Oh! Buckley's gone. Oh. Oh. On his mid range, too. Oh, right hook. Verona's tired. Yeah, he's oh. fading bad. Oh, he's oh, fading. He's breaking him. His chin's getting up high, too. He is breaking him. By your neck. Decision, Joaquin Dumanza Buckley. Hey, that's how we get it done. Who was it? Who was it? You just beat? You just beat some Morono. I watched uh, the fight. Good, a good really name. good. Good name, Alex Morono. They call him. Yeah, the Alex Morono. Yeah, it was a tough. Yeah, he showed yeah, toughness. Yeah, yeah. You hit him with some yeah. good shots. You yeah, controlled him on the ground. Kept top position. He made it hard for you to get the ground and pound going. But yeah. you you dominated the fight, in my opinion. Um, I mean, shit. Nah, <laughs> that, that, he was tough though. I ain't gonna lie, like he was tough. I, I really thought I was gonna get him out of there in the second round or at least the third, you know, and, and, and really create a great highlight. But he just stayed in there. He just he just was on survival mode the whole time. So now this is why I gotta change things up even in my game plan. Sometimes these dudes are just too tough to just beat on. You know, sometimes you gotta use other methods to get them up out of there. So, you know, I'm I'm definitely got some, some new tactics for my next fight. <laughs> can literally change the dynamic of how he lives from where I came from, you know what I mean, and how I grew up. You know, my father wasn't really in my life. That whole, that whole cliche, you know what I'm saying? I can get rid of that. I can be a part of his life, you know what I mean? And I can actually set up a future for him where he can do whatever he wants to, you know what I mean? And figure out what his passion is, but I have to suffer and try to figure out and work for somebody else at the same time. So I can change that whole dynamic with fighting with the UFC, but you know, we gotta get all our checks, you know? I can't just 
uh, like when we lose, or we lose a check too, you know what I mean? And it really hurts, you know? So with everything being said, I can't afford to lose, you know what I mean? Because this is setting up his future and his life at the end of the day. <laughs> Y'all gonna, they gonna, they gonna find out, but it's, it's not just gonna be in the cage, like, you know, everything, you know, it's more real. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, pretend and, and act like somebody else like I did before, you know, even with the whole cameras and the interviews and stuff. I'm just gonna be genuine, I'm just gonna be me, whether you like it or not. It's, it's gonna be me, and so I have no regrets. So my thing is, bro, just go out there, do what I do, man, and get paid, bro. That's it. I'm just trying to get as much money as I can. That's my goal. Yeah, new man. So I'm, I'm trying to get money. I'm trying to get new money. That's it. Let's call it like that, right?